we're going to look at today, we're building raking walls. So I'm going to show you uh, uh, how to uh, basically work out what height your walls are. It's a really uh, handy skill, a really handy uh, uh, little way that I'm going to show you that can really save you time. And if you've got this system down pat, you'll be able to build anything uh, that you want to be able to build. So um, to start off, I've, I always use my uh, roof cuts, rafter and uh, length book. Um, yeah, it's a great little book. Um, it basically tells me uh, what my rise per meter is. So what we've got here, we've got a wall. This is gonna be our starting wall. And then over here, we've got our, um, our next wall. It's kind of raking up to the middle here. So basically, we, we know the height of that wall. It's gotta match the existing. We wanna know what the height of this wall is gonna be. All right, so what I do is I measure the distance, hooking on from that outside wall to this inside of this wall because that's where our plum cuts will be on our rafter all right the formula is height so the height equals the length times the rise per meter for the rise per meter I turn to the pitch I can see that the rise per meter for this uh, pitch is uh, 420 meters rise to one meter run all right so the height the height equals uh, the length times the rise per meter. Our length for this one is 3490. All right, so we go 3490 times 0.42. That's gonna give us how much higher it is. We add that onto our wall height that we've already established uh, for the wall that we're starting from. And that's basically how you work out different wall heights. Height equals length times rise per meter. All right, so if you come in on this spot, I'll just show you what we're doing here. Basically, our seat cut on our rafter, we're matching the existing. We know that our seat cut comes in 70 mil, and then our plumb cut comes down 20 mil. All right, so we've got that kind of, that angle going on. Um, this here is 20 millimeters, sorry, 20 mils. We've worked out in the book what 20 mil is, it equals about eight millimeters in height. So we've added eight mil onto this stud height, but we've also taken into account that we haven't got a trench on the top plate. So we've got 35 plus 46 is 81 millimeters that we've got to deduct off the overall height, uh, which will give us this point right here. So we're gonna, we're working at a short point, which will be this point right here. Our rafter height for here is 2103 to the short point. Sorry, our stud height. All right. Now to get our next stud across, what we do is we do the, the same distance measurement, the same calculation we've been doing the whole time, which is the height, the height that we've got to add on equals the length or the distance it travels times by the rise per meter. So we work from the same side. You can see here, from our short point to our short point of our next stud, we've got 450 millimeters or close enough to. So we go 0.45 times 0.42 equals 189 millimeters of rise. We then add 189 millimeters of rise to our short point length of our stud here, which was 2184. So this stud height is gonna be 2373. I'll just quickly show you um, the top plate. Basically the top plate is worked out the same as a rafter. So we've just got our distance, which is 3.4 meters. You work out 3.4 in your red book uh, just with the same as you would a rafter, you look down the side, 3,400, add the two numbers together, and that'll work you your top plate measurement. And you should have your studs working perfectly. So we're gonna cut a couple studs, and we'll, uh, we'll show you what it looks like once we've got a few studs up. As you can see, we're up a little bit higher here, and if you have a look up the other end, we're down a little bit lower. That's because we're hugging the rafter. We've got a little example here, you want to look back at my example the rafters are actually a lot bigger than this but it kind of gives you the idea we've got a 70 mil seat cut to match the existing that we're tying into normally I'd probably build this wall on the ground and then stand it up but where we have a size restriction because the walls are so high and we we haven't got a lot of room on this site so we're actually going to build them standing up but that gives you a good idea we've got our 70 mil it's actually pitching from back here, so it's got a little bit of rise, which is why that's up a bit high. All right. 
We've got our first rafter, uh, sorry, our first stud. I whack him in. Yeah, fly measure across. 450 mil. Shoot that off. And I'll we'll just get the next one. The next one came to a 24.81. It's always got to be the way. Perfect, spot on. All right, there you have it guys, how to build a raking wall. Uh, I hope that made sense to you and that you understand it. Um, if you have any questions or comments, just put them in on the YouTube channel or if you want, you can click through to my website, send through an email. Um, basically, get yourself, get yourself a, uh, what we call the Red Book or the uh, Roof Cuts and Rafter Lens by Hancock. Um, write down the formula in the back of the book. It's always really handy once you've got it written down in your notes section just to refer to. Uh, eventually, you know, it just becomes second nature and you always know how to work it out. So thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel and um, I'll catch you next time.